welcome back to my channel today is a little bit weird a little bit different for me um, um i really didn't think i was gonna do a video today but because i didn't do one last week thursday i didn't want to get dragged i feel so ill i don't know what it is i think it's the heat all of a sudden like it's heat wave kind of weather in cape town it's not like wasn't a small you know gradient sort of like build up to summer it went from raining to heat wave so i'm pretty lost um so i really woke up with a horrible migraine and um i took some pills but they didn't work and um i was like you know what let me just try and take a shower i literally have slept until 11 a.m this morning um, I do have an event to go to today at 1 o'clock which I also thought I was not going to go to but I keep cancelling on this lady for her event so I'm just like you know what let's not be this person I really wanted to film though I was going to do like an insta story live like an insta live to get ready with me but I was like you know what as long as I'm sitting down and filming something it might as well just be for my youtube channel right so don't take this video too seriously please don't take me seriously in this video I literally feel like shit. Um, hopefully, once I eat something, I'll feel a lot better. But this is what I'm working with for now. So I wanted to vlog my entire week. I wanted to do a weekly vlog this week. Um, however, today I do want to. I'm thinking of. Hopefully, it'll be the result of this video. We'll see how it goes. That I just do a get ready with me, we just get ready together and then I take you to this event with me and then I'll just come back home and edit it and upload it and stuff just so it's not like too clinical the sit down tutorial so that there's a little bit of jazz, you know, a little bit of excitement in between. I am quite excited for summer, not that anything is happening but hopefully I'm excited to be relaxed and do stuff like nothing i was gonna say that i definitely want to do vlogmas again this year um i know it's only october but i mean in all honesty december is right around the corner so i definitely am thinking about wow what did i do to my mouth i definitely am thinking about vlogmas that should be fun but i am going on a trip end of november I'm coming back just before December starts as well so I also vlog that this December I really wanted to go on like a safari like I just have it in my head to go on like a luxury sort of like safari I just hate that the prices are obviously for tourists because you can get a safari um, package and pay like 90,000 rand and like it's in your own country like we can't be doing this you know I'm just trying to find like an affordable getaway either that or I'm gonna try and go to Mauritius but we'll see because I'm not too hard pressed for like an island vibe because obviously we live in Cape Town and there's a beach and there's water so it's not like there's not this like necessity to be like on an island or like on a beach so which is why I thought that I would be fine with going on an island i mean on a like animal safari and then next year go somewhere around europe what we'll see these eyebrows are looking like distant cousins distant very distant like they don't talk oh, it's so hot today i'm struggling with what i should wear Okay, for foundation, I'm grabbing my NARS um, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. It's my go-to foundation when like I don't want to think about anything. Although, I also got this new MAC 196 brush. I don't know what it's for. Is it for foundation? Maybe I can try to use it today. Let me Google this brush and see what I can use it for. MAC. Oh, one nine six. 
It's a synthetic slanted flat top foundation brush. Talking about this brush, um, I got it a few weeks ago. Let me actually spritz my face with some oops, um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This one over here. Just gonna. Also, I want to show you guys this. Um, I got a drop from Sigma. They added me to their PR list. Oh! Uh, I went to the PR list and I also have a discount or a link that you can shop where you can get discounted Sigma stuff as well so that's amazing so I'll have that down below and I'll talk more about it when I get there I'm gonna see how this works synthetic brushes I like them because they tend not to absorb too much product products will just like sits on the surface of the brush as opposed to um, these like um, a brush such as like okay you wouldn't use this for foundation but a brush like this that would just the foundation would just like sink right through which is why I love those fluffy brushes for like powder as opposed to like a fluid foundation and then that's why we like these synthetic more dense brushes for foundation and I really really like this wow but like I love the NARS foundation but I like how flawless my skin looks as well wasn't that pretty I've also had the worst allergies this weekend the worst and I think it actually developed into flu it's no longer um, basic as allergies This is definitely giving me a full flawless coverage as you can see I suppose because it's angled I can really like just get in there it's angled and flat I can really get in there okay so concealer I'm using I'm using this one again today it's the MAC 24 hour studio fix concealer um, I used it last week I believe and my experience with this is that it dries down very quickly so it is really advised that you work in sections um, that's just been my experience with it I haven't really watched too many videos with it yet um, so I'm yet to see what everyone else's experience is like with it also, the shade is a bit surprising to me because, as I said last week, this is NC44. I generally use NC45 or similar when I'm highlighting or like concealing like this. So I was really surprised at the lightness of the shade. I did see Jenny Jenkins do a, a chatty video and she was using the shade the concealer NC50. I don't believe that she's that much darker than me, to be quite honest with you. So it's all quite confusing. <clears throat> also, the neighbors cut down all of their trees. All of their trees. So they can pretty much see what I'm doing in my office. And I don't know about any other bloggers out there, if you watch my channel and you still. <clears throat> feel quite embarrassed about people that just looking at you <laughs> like vlogging whether it's like when you're outside and vlogging or like trying to take pictures and stuff I'm always, the worst one for me is when I'm trying to vlog I just don't vlog when I'm outside like if I'm vlogging that's probably because I'm with like other people who are vlogging at the same time or I'm with somebody else like if I'm just going out by myself wow that's that's to me just the most humiliating thing Yesterday I went out for lunch in a very like upmarket sort of like neighborhood and restaurant as well and I wanted to have an OOTD. I couldn't get it successfully because I was just so shy. I'm using my Laura Mercier um, powder. I was just so shy. So my Laura Mercier finishes so fast. Obviously it's my everyday translucent powder. So when I go and I travel 
next month. I'm gonna pick up like three. But at the moment, you know guys, I'm feeling so happy and so blessed just to have people in my life that I love and family and health and you know, just overall happiness. Um, that's how I'm feeling like and I feel like um, I'm so happy going into December with like that attitude and mood. So I'm feeling quite positive and, and just content, you know what I'm saying? Like. I'm feeling positive and content and sort of like in my own space and in my own zone and not really, you know, accepting work that like I'm really not really interested in but I'm, I'm doing it because I, I, I don't know what reason, like you want money or because you um, are like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm I feel so content and stuff right now to be in a headspace where you know what like if I don't want to do something I'm not gonna do it like I'm just not gonna do it you know obviously not at the expense of another person you know like in the most in the most you know harmless way to other people it's as long as it doesn't like affect you in a very negative way but um, Still being mindful of other people, I think I'm starting what I'm trying to say, but at this, but at the same time, being more aware and more mindful for yourself as well. So that's the headspace I'm in at I'm at right now, and yeah, like I'm chill, I'm easy, I'm breezy, I'm fabulous. Okay, I'm gonna contour with my um, I go just contoured my nose now, and I'm using my Bobbi Brown um, bronzing powder, which is obviously my everyday. Um, bronzer here you guys have seen me use this multiple times it's called a bronzing powder but I use it to contour that's what I'm trying to say um shit I didn't bring my bronzer eh. okay anyway let's move on to our Sigma box because this is where I'm gonna do my eyeshadow from it's so exciting came with like some pamphlet which has like every single Sigma um, um, product that, that they offer um, and I didn't know they had such an extensive makeup range as well which is pretty cool oh shit I could have used these you know um, they also give me the Sigma 3D HD blender quite sharp and pointy I have this Sigma Magic Brush Shampoo. How how necessary is this um, to wash the brushes on a brush cleaning mat? Isn't this so cool? So um, I'm going to test this out tonight when I wash my brushes. Um, and then they gave me this um, trio set, which I think is so cute. It's pink. I'll be traveling with this, I believe. Um, it's got a contour brush, uh, eyeshadow brush, or two eyeshadow brushes, which I think is like a crease, a crease brush and a um, a flat brush to pack product on. So I'll try and use those today. They also included a um, eyeshadow palette. So I have been eyeing this eyeshadow palette for such a long time, and it's the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. And um, well, warm neutrals volume two. I think this one is so much better than the first one, and it has these beautiful warm tones in here as well, which I think is just so pretty. And obviously, you can never go wrong with like a warm palette. So I'm going to use this one today. And then there's also a another powder. This is called the Aura Powder Face Powder. So here's the powder, it's the packaging. Packaging, I love the packaging. It's just slick and black. Ooh, look at the blush. Um, I don't know how that's gonna translate on my complexion, but we'll see. Um, okay, then I have the Sigma E32 blending brush. So I'm also gonna use this for my eyeshadow. I've got a long wear eyeliner pencil. And there is also a lipstick, and this might be a lip gloss. It's a nice 
pop of color so have a letter a card that just says welcome to the sigma family and enjoy your goodies from shy thank you shy i'm gonna start off with the shade here called sigma no that's not sigma sorry they all have sigma written on it it's called henna this beautiful brown hair which i want to use so i'm using the sigma brush it's the e25 blending brush and i'm just gonna pop this onto my crease bigger brush this one is a bit it's not I thought it would be not as detailed it's quite detailed and quite dense I think that would be great like directly in my crease not for my transition shade once I've got my transition down which, which in this case is like a, a brown I take my regular face powder and I'm taking the Sigma E55 eye shading brush and I'm gonna just pack this onto my lid so it's like this beautiful um, neutral brown but obviously it's like on my skin Okay, now I'm going to go back in with that first brush that I put down, the E25, and I'm going to um, apply henna to my lower lash line. Um, this weekend, on Saturday, I went to watch uh, Sir John Official, Beyonce's makeup artist, um, do a masterclass in Constantia. It was such a beautiful event, you know, I just love Constantia. I love the wine. I, really, I love wine country. I just... I just like wine country and he calls this look the Cape Town look where you just literally use one eyeshadow in this case yes I use two where it's um, like a wash of color you know what I'm gonna be risky I'm gonna take that henna shade and apply it everywhere and then I'm really doing what he calls the Cape Town look literally one eyeshadow i know i'm doing this the palette at this service but not using all of the shades this is just my reality when i am going somewhere and i just want a low maintenance sort of look okay mascara i'm using today is the benefit bad girl bang mascara I don't know how I've mastered not opening my mouth when I'm doing mascara like this. <laughs> but I did read somewhere. I don't know whose Instagram I was watching. I think it might be Cara Faye. And she posted this um, snapshot of this fact that the, um, the, the nerves in our eyes, to stretch them out, are linked to our mouth. So that's why there's this necessity to, you know... I don't know how true it is but it made sense <laughs> lashes today i'm gonna use these ones these are from neuro cosmetics these are some mink lashes they're so sexy um but they still i find appropriate for day daytime drums i'm using my duo lash glue this one over here i always get asked what lash glue i use when everyone pretty much uses the same I'm going to test out this blush. I'm going to be using this A Sigma F40 angled contour brush. We're going to see what it does. What it is, first of all. What is this? Is it a highlighter? So it's not going to do anything. I don't think it's adding color. It's not a blush, is it? Is it adding color? It's the most subtle blush ever recorded. If I'm wrong, please don't laugh at me. I should probably Google what this is for. I'm just gonna spread some all nighter. Let's 
this one over here. And then for highlighter, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild um, highlighter in Crown of My Canopy, which I have to say is a favorite. It's just so subtle. Oh, but it just does the things. It does the things. I wanted to do a pop of color. I wanted to use an orange that I didn't use last week. And it's from NYX. It's the NYX Liquid Suede. I think I need a... Just a pop of color, you know, because it's summer. Let's not be boring. Honestly, it looks more dramatic than it is, I feel like. It looks a little bit more dramatic than it is. I think it's the eyelashes. So let me just go and finish up with my hair and my top and my earrings. And then I will wrap this video up and... Yes, I'm on time. I'm be on my way. Okay, guys. This is my finished look. Why am I so high? Oh, why am I so low? <laughs> this is my finished look. Um, who else uses their sunglasses as like an Alice band? Like, I've got no intention of wearing these properly today. But um, I just use it as like an Alice band. I'm wearing this off the shoulder with some wide leg pants so I'm wearing black and white but I thought that I would bring some summer into it by doing an off the shoulder and a pop of color on the lips I hope this bra behaves with me because my boobs okay guys that is it I hope you enjoyed this video um, thank you for watching hope you comment like and subscribe and um, I will see you guys soon I'm out Bye.